Hi, continuing our series on the basic care and feeding of uh, beginning band instruments. And today we're going to look at the clarinet. The clarinet's one of the most popular instruments uh, to start with. Uh, they're fairly affordable. They can be a stepping stone to saxophone or oboe or, or any of the other reeded instruments. So uh, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is we want you to take your reed and uh, we want you to put that in your mouth. And you, and you want to insert, there's that thin end and then the big end. We want you to insert all the way up to there. Uh, just put that in your mouth and just kind of let it sit there like a tongue depressor, okay? And what you're doing is you're getting that reed moist and ready to play. Now, I'm not gonna do that because I need to be able to talk to uh, show you how to do the rest of this. So, but uh, just stick that in there and then while we're doing the rest of this, it'll be getting nice and moist. So, on your clarinet, you've got a few different body parts here and there's uh, four pieces that have cork on them. So, uh, this is the lower joint, and you can always tell that it's got kind of these paddle keys, and then the three keys, and it's bigger around. And you see it's got a cork on the end. There's the upper joint, and it's a little bit smaller. Uh, it has more of these little lever keys on there, and uh, it has a cork on both ends. You can see that there. Uh, your fourth cork, or third cork, fourth, can't count today. Your fourth cork is actually on the mouthpiece itself. So. The first thing we want to do is in your case there should be some cork grease and uh, basically you just want to put a little bit on there and then uh, smear it around, wipe the excess off on a tissue on your finger and you're good to go. You want that to be uh, smooth and, and, and just a little bit slick. Uh, if it's dry it'll be hard to put together and uh, if it gets, there's a catch-22 if you apply it too often you can actually deteriorate the, the glue that holds the cork on. So. You might have to do this if it's a brand new clarinet, you might have to do it once or twice a week for the first month or so, and then eventually it'll become kind of saturated and then it might be only once every two months or something. So uh, you'll be able to tell, it'll be hard to put together and it'll feel dry. So so we, we put that on all four of the corks. So the one on the lower joint, the two on the middle joint, on the upper joint. So once we've got that done, we can start assembling the clarinet. So we're gonna grab the uh, lower joint here and it's the one with just one cork on it. And then we're gonna grab the bell, and that just slides on there. Now you wanna grasp your, your clarinet fairly firmly to slide it on there and give it a little twist. These are brand new corks, so they're a little bit uh, tight. And that's the way we want it. Uh, so there you go, there's one. Now here's the little trickier part. This is where we assemble the lower joint and the upper joint. And if you look at this key right here, it has to go over the top of that key right there. So uh, what I'm gonna do, that key will actually move if I push down on the rings. See it going up there? Okay, so I'm actually gonna, as I'm putting it together, I'm going to push down on that ring so it raises. I'm gonna put the joint on in a twisting motion and then line that up, if you can see that there. So you can see that these two are in a line. If you've got it right, I need to just twist it just a little bit you'll also see that the holes are all in a line here, okay? So that's the two joints together. Then we have what's called the barrel, which is sort of a little spacer that goes between the body and the mouthpiece. And we put that on. So a lot of the clarinets do have a neck strap hook. A neck strap hook is really great for a beginner and a neck strap is really great for a beginner. Uh, it allows them to actually let go of their clarinet without fear of it rolling on the floor. It can also, if it's adjusted correctly, help them keep the correct uh, uh, orientation with their clarinet So as they're playing. So use that neck strap if you've got one. And we'll move on to one of the trickier pieces, which is the mouthpiece and the reed. So you've been soaking that reed, and you notice there's a, a flat part of the mouthpiece. That's the face of the mouthpiece. And this is the face of the reed, okay? Or I'm gonna call it the face. So the way to remember how it goes on is flat to flat. There's a flat and around, flat to flat, and then tip to tip, skinny end to skinny end. So we're gonna put that on there. And the way we want that to end up is about like that. So you can see, I'm just gonna tilt that. You can see there's just a little sliver of, of the black there on the edge. So that's the way we want it to end up. So we got to use a clamp to hold it into place like that. That's called the ligature, and that's this guy here. And you can see it's got kind of a wide end over here and a thinner end over here. So the wide end goes on first. We have to loosen the screws a little bit. The wide end goes on first. And I'm going to kind of 
hold that reed in place while I slide that down. And then I'm just gonna tighten these up just barely snug. I wanna, I want them snug enough they're gonna hold the reed, but I don't want them to really clamp it down yet until I check that alignment. And so now I'm going to just kind of wiggle that reed around. I need to go down just a little bit. So I'm wiggling them around until, oh, still need to go down a little bit. This is hard to do upside down and backwards so you can see it. Okay, so I'm gonna get it in the right spot. I'm gonna tighten these up. Now you don't have to go gorilla on this. You just go uh, until it's nice and snug and the reed's not gonna move around. And you should end up looking like that. So you can just see that little bit of black right there. So that's ready to go. You put it on and the reed goes, you have just the one hole back here. That's where your thumb's gonna go. The reed goes so that it's in line with that. And that's it for assembling the clarinet. You're ready to go. Thumb hook goes, thumb goes under here and you're ready to go. So now once you're done playing, disassembly is uh, very much just the opposite of that process. So we're going to take off the mouthpiece. We're going to loosen those clamps on the ligature and pull off the reed. And I want you to put that reed back in this nice old plastic case. So that's going to keep it nice and flat. It'll dry flat and it'll last longer for you. Uh, the other reason we want to take that off every time is uh, we don't want that moisture to just stay in the mouthpiece and on the reed because funky stuff starts growing and ain't nobody want that, okay? So now we've got the body of the clarinet and the barrel. And in your case, there should be a swab. So a swab is a piece of cloth with a string or a ribbon, and then there's weight in this ribbon here. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to hold my clarinet up just going to drop that all the way down through the clarinet okay, until it pops out the other end and then I'm going to pull it through okay and you want to do that at least once or twice after every time you play so uh, once that's done you can put that back in the case and we start disassembling the clarinet now I do want to show you one other thing that we do sell and it's kind of a handy little little gadget here. Sometimes at the end of class, it's you just I'm just giving it a twist and pulling that apart. Sometimes at the end of the class, you get rushed and you don't quite have time. We do sell these. So this is uh, a rod with a special fiber on it that wicks away moisture. And you can just stuff that in there. And it's a two part deal. So you got one for each joint, stuff it in there and you just leave it in there. Okay. So uh, that's pretty much it for clarinet. Uh, some weekly maintenance you want to do. Uh, just like every instrument, I recommend that once a week when you're done playing, give it a wipe down, get rid of your fingerprints, kind of inspect it, look for any loose screws, uh, bring those to the attention of your director or bring it to us and we'll take care of it. Wipe off any excess cork grease and maybe reapply that if it needs it, and you're done. That's your weekly maintenance. Uh, this, uh, If you are using a swab or uh, one of these stuffers, you can wash these. So if they start getting a little grungy or something like that, you can uh, just take them to the sink, a little mild soap and water, rinse them off really well, let them dry really well, and then you can, they're clean. They're as good as new and, and you can use it again. So that's pretty much it for the clarinet. If you have any questions on this or any of the other band instruments or just anything musical, uh, give us a call uh, to get to, to all the stores, Kearney, Grand Island, and Ogallala out here in Western Nebraska, 308-234-1970. Uh, you can also call me directly if you're out here in Western Nebraska, Northeast Colorado, at 308-284-DARNFLY, 308-284-8384. As always, you can visit us on the web at yondasmusic.com and make sure to follow us on all that social media stuff. And I hope to see you on the road soon.